So here we are in possibly the world's smallest loft um, available to man. And the reason that I'm up here is I can turn my camera around in a minute. Um, we're doing some um, remedial works after the ICR that I've done on um, a rented property. And when I was doing the ICR, I couldn't find a earth to the water main in the property. And then when we've been up in the loft and looked around, there was actually a cable that looked like it come down a wall. But on further inspection, I've actually found that the cable was cut off at the ceiling height, I'm assuming by the plumber that was doing some work in the cupboard. Um, I'll turn my camera around and then I can show you what I found. Okay, so this is now my new earth that I've just dragged in. This was the existing earth that had just been cut off at the ceiling. And that was obviously the first original earth. So they've upgraded the earth at some point. So there was actually two that come down that wall and for whatever reason, they just decided to cut them off completely. <clears throat> and the cable come from all the way over there. So it ain't been the easiest job in the world to get in, but we are indeed doing it. That's the main thing. And this is gonna be another one of my jobs that I've got to try and sort out today. Just tidy these up a bit and it's like four joints, I believe, that need to be sorted out. So, yeah, as you can see, well, it's a bit hard to see actually on here, how small the void is. <laughs> my little loft hatch, I'm gonna have fun getting out of there. It was hard enough getting in it. Um, <laughs> Let's just uh, leave it at that, shall we, I suppose? Right, uh, what's next on the, G uh, the agenda? It's doing this earth, and yeah, and then get cracking on with the light fittings. Uh, welcome back, everyone, and as you can see, I've now managed to get my two earth cables and these are the main earths. Um, one from the loft and then the other one is coming straight from, this is the back of the cupboard and then it's going to go along there and then up to the gas pipe there onto the boiler. Um, some other jobs we've got to do in here today. Let me move that out of the way. We've got to, these are all remedial jobs that I found on the ICR. We've got to, tidy this lot up in here as you can see look at that nice all of that lot's got to be covered in really and reinstate that socket just make it look a bit better <clears throat> and also the down lights need to be all remade off and um, put into some kind of enclosures uh, and lastly <laughs> move this light this was quite funny when you open that, yes, look at that. That's been well designed by whoever installed it. So that light obviously needs to be moved as well so that they can at least open the kitchen door. Okay, so I suppose um, let's get cracking on. I'm gonna have a go at the down lights, I think, next. So let's do this. Okay, here we go. So this is just a typical one of the um, connections. They're all the same, basically. The light fitting itself is really not designed to have more than one cable in it. So the others that have got two cables in, they're done like this, but obviously with two cables and been taped up. But I'm gonna put some sort of enclosure on these and then extend it into the light fitting the way it should have been done. Um, so yeah, if you wanna follow me, you can see how we get on.
I thought while I was back up in the loft, I'd do you a quick video of what the connections look like now. They've been redone. So as you can see, there's no single insulated cables hanging out of the fitting anymore. And the actual bigger connection is in a nice Wago box. So it's sitting, this is obviously what it will now look like up in the loft. So as you can see, that's far neater and far more importantly, it's far safer. Okay, this is going to be my next job today. As you can see, this has been really quite badly connected. It's actually inside a cupboard under the sink, as you can see. So what we're going to try to do is take this off, put some kind of enclosure around that, make this all inside the enclosure, and then remount this next to it or close to it or whatever it happens to be, and then should be job done. So let's get into it, shall we?